I'm Richard Chambers, this is my brother Peter, and we both row for the GB rowing team and are both Olympians. We train five hours each day. Your body feels totally wrecked. Your muscles are sore, the heart's pumping. It's painful, but it's what we do. Water for me means rowing. I'm 13 years old. To me, water is life. I wake up in the morning and wash before doing chores around the house. Then my sister and I dig the garden before fetching water. I began fetching water when I was around five years old. It takes us two hours each time, and we fetch it twice a day. It's a hard journey. If I walk too fast, I get chest pains. At times it's painful, but it's what I have to do to survive. We are here in Uganda to collect clean water to see if we can do it like the Ugandan girls. The walk is really difficult. Whenever it's wet, it can be really slippy and dangerous, but also it's really steep on the way up. Finishing it, I just couldn't believe that these girls do this every day, twice a day. I think if I came out here and tried the shadow them for seven days, honestly think by the third or fourth day, I haven't done that twice a day. I think I'll be on my knees. I once met some boys who were grazing cattle. They got hold of me and took my water. I fought to get away as I knew I would have been attacked. I prayed to God to help our family to move forward. By prayer, is that as this community they get water because water here is very scarce. The money that your founder gives helps the community through the diocese to build the tanks and the water jars so that the people can benefit from water. Peter and I both choose to do what we do, to row every day. These girls need to do what they do every day just to stay alive. It's just heartbreaking that I'll go home and I'll wake up and I'll know that right now Doreen and Juvelet are halfway up that mountain in southwest Uganda. I'd be so happy if we had a tank, as it would solve our problem. But I think I will continue to fetch water until I die. We can change this by supporting Tier Fund and its partners who provide clean water to communities like this.